Well, it's holiday, it's going really quick. Yeah, too quick. I might stay out here. Well, without me? Thank you, stay for long. Look how hot my fiance looks. Fiance. Tom, come here because we're actually quite matching tonight. And we are. Oh, look at this one. Oh. His and hers. How hot is my boyfriend? Can I just say we look quite matchy. Where's your outfit from, babes? What's that? Where's your outfit from? Secret. Love the look. Get the look. We'll do yeah. one for Tom. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my latest video of Danny keeping it real and uh, this is the first time you've seen us on this channel and I'm engaged. Lucky lady. So lucky. So lots of people have been commenting wanting to see the engagement so this is it. Are you excited to see it? Well I'm, I'm the one who's done it so I don't really <laughs> need to see it do I? So my boy has treated me to a nice pregnancy massage. I need it. You've managed to get yourself one as well, haven't you? Much stupider. We're going to come to see you for the journey and I'll go myself. <laughs> so we're, we're going to this nice spa. What, um, what's it called again? Mummy and Daddy to be massage. I literally cannot wait. I've now actually got prickly heat on my feet. So I'm going to have a nice neck, lower back and get these feet treated. We've literally just had the best massage, haven't we? Mm. Do you feel refreshed? Sandbag. How nice was that spa? Yeah, it was nice. It was needed, wasn't it? I was sandbagging now, weren't I? You, oh my God, you were snoring. The bird was on my back at one point and I, I didn't know what was going on, so yeah. I'm not gonna lie, when I did wake up at one point, well, I was like half asleep, but then when you see a, uh, uh, <laughs> A lady that's literally she was like on all fours pretty much like riding you i think she enjoyed it more than me i think she did i was asleep weren't i he was snoring and i remember sitting there girls you've all been there well i don't know if you have maybe it's just me i was lying there thinking uh i hope she's not like trying to touch up my boyfriend while i'm asleep and i kept seeing she her looking at me was she but you don't know you don't know and all of a sudden, thinking, better not be enjoying you. this. You're laying front down like that. Her hands could go in places, Tom. What's she going to get hold of? She's going to get a bit of fat ass in her hand. Anyway, so she was literally, I was like laying there and I was thinking, I hope he's not really enjoying this too much. And then all of a sudden I heard, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, he's sound though, I'm all right. Yeah, I can safe. enjoy my massage now. I thought that was the only surprise I was getting that holiday. Full of them, weren't I? A few in the bag. But I was very, very wrong. So I'm just waiting here patiently. This one has got a surprise venture, and I don't know what we're doing. I'm oh, sorry, I've got my feet up. I put my feet up, sorry. Mm, I was getting trouble. Um, but yeah, I don't know what he's got planned. There's nothing to do with that walking car. Surprise. Oh my god, the boy has pulled out all stops. Well, I didn't expect this. Done well. Oh, nice little, little surprise. surprise. It's beautiful. This is how you want to see Dubai, guys. Well, the surprise was meant to have been the day of the spa. The weather was absolutely rubbish. So I woke up on the morning, on the Wednesday morning, the day we was meant to go out, looked out the window and the sea was going like mental. Yeah, it was quite choppy. The only day it was windy actually. Yeah, it was day, it was a rough day. The company who I got the boat through phoned me, they phoned the room phone, which, yeah, blinding, she could have answered. <laughs> they phoned me, it was like, hello, Mr. Edney. Um, do you still want to go out on boat today? I was like, well, not really. I've just seen the, the waves out there. I don't really go out. I'm not too uh, oh, fond of boats either. I do. I, I don't mind boats, but I'm not the biggest fan. So I thought, no, we want to see nice. You don't like room. boats, but you decided to propose to me. And then this boat. one, the day before, tells me she don't like boats. I was like, well, great, I'm going to propose <laughs> on a boat. She don't like boats. I'm not a massive fan of them. 
this is going to go right wrong, ain't it? Can I just say, so the way he surprised me, he said, so the morning of the proposal, he was, you were, I didn't notice, but you hadn't even eaten or anything, had you? I couldn't eat. <laughs> and Stump was doing cartwheels. Any blow of things, oh. no, I don't get nervous. I was nervous. I, yeah, I couldn't eat properly. So we had breakfast. That went down like a lead balloon. Then went back for lunch. For some reason, I got a roast dinner at lunchtime in Dubai, for some reason. Who Pushed has? that around the plate. I just thought, I need to get on this boat, get the ring on her finger and get off it. So I told him, because he said, look, wear something comfortable, wear your flats. Well, I can't wear anything I'm trying else. to throw her off the scent a little bit, so I kept chucking out a few different things. She was like, are there animals involved? I went, there might be. <laughs> she went, we walking? I went, you might be. So we went down that road. She didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. I went, I hope it ain't boats. <laughs> yeah, she went, I hope it ain't boats. <laughs> great. Absolutely right. It's because I get seasick news. Yeah. Guys, I'm engaged! <laughs> She's done so well. Okay. I'm. Look at the ring. I'm. So, oh, can't be going swimming now, no, a bit man, nervous. We have bald in a minute, won't it? <laughs> Honestly, I feel literally like the happiest girl in the world. I love you. Good, love you. Should we talk a little bit about the actual... Because obviously, right, I'll be honest, guys. If I... Because some of you will be watching this thinking, I bet she knew she was getting engaged. She pulled all the stops out, got a yacht out for the day. What I did not have a clue. He made it so good. Trust me. I was wearing... And obviously, I love my cheap bikinis, but I was wearing my basic bitch bikini. You weren't happy with your outfit, No, was that, no, I wasn't. No. I thought I was going for She's a... Fuming. I thought I was going on a trek, like a walk. Absolutely so I fuming. had the worst outfit. If I knew I was getting proposed to, I'd have definitely had a fresh blow dryer. I would have definitely put more makeup on, and I would have put a real nice, like, bright coloured bikini. I looked... Instead, she dragged something out the bottom of her case. <laughs> <laughs> it was my cheapest bikini from Primark. I do love it. It was really comfortable. If I did know... I'm not going to lie, I would have set the cameras up if I knew. Yeah, you said that to me, and that, yeah, I, I, I didn't want that. It's, yeah, it's one of them things, as much as you're sharing bits of it, you want it to be, it's personal to the pair of you, ain't it? You didn't want the whole world seeing that no, moment. I mean, no. I would have, I would have let you guys see it, but. No, no chance. So, should we tell them, because obviously they can't see it, should we tell them, should we take them through back to the moment where you asked me to be your wife? Go for what, it. What, on the boat? Yeah, what happened? Yeah, before that, you get a plan in your head what you're going to do. You think, I'm going to say this, do this, do that, whatever. That went right out the window. So the people I put the boat through knew I was obviously doing it. Yeah. Um, so obviously they had to wait for the boat to stop. So we said about, I think it's four o'clock in the afternoon, the boat's going to stop, go and do it. It's like, fine. So I've got the ring down my pants and say, keeping in my watch case. You know. What's so done? So this is another thing I actually didn't know is... I thought, if she sees something in my pockets, so all I've got is my phone and my wallet. So all she, if she sees a box in my pocket, she's going to know she's getting engaged to. So I put the ring in my watch case in my pants. So she didn't know where well, it was. you knew I weren't going to touch any parts of there. Not on a boat and in Dubai, you're not getting banged up. But. <laughs> so we've got on the boat. I've got the ring in my, in my pants. I can't concentrate properly. She's rabbiting away as she does. So the boat stops. So the bloke sort of give me the wink or the, the nod. So I thought, I'll go to the toilet to get the ring out of my pants. Gone down the boat, so I've gone to Dan. Should we go downstairs into the front of the boat so that this view's nice? Old Happy, Miss Happy over here, don't want to go and see the view because she's seen it before, like blinding. <laughs> so while you're in the toilet. So I've gone to the toilet, sorting the ring out. I'm trying to get back up onto the top deck because yeah, I didn't so want to watch it. Yeah, so she's half rowing the bloke because she don't want to be down the bottom of the boat, she wants to be upstairs. <laughs> so I'm, I've come out and I'm like kicking off, I'm like, great. <laughs> So I can't do what well, I, I want to do. I didn't get it. I didn't want to. I no, didn't want to watch no. that, that. I've seen the Burj. Burj. So I've got ring in my hand like that. So I've been getting my hand was playing up that or the anyway for whatever reason, yeah? So my hand was all feeling a bit stiff. So I've gone up to Danielle and I was like, Dan, my hand's seized up. It don't feel right. So as I've gone like that, she's gone, oh, your hand, it looks swollen to be fair. And she's gone, what? And the ring was in my hand. So I just sort of said, will you marry me, darling? <laughs> Yeah, no, like it sort of just come out like that. It, it weren't no, 
nothing really romantic about it. The knee didn't drop, blah, blah. And there's a bloke standing with a bunch of flowers oh, like that. It was so behind. funny. It was, it was actually, yeah. I just screamed, didn't I? And I didn't even say yes. I went, oh my God, look at the size. She never said no. I just loved the ring. Yeah, she just couldn't wait to get the ring out, man. And to be fair, I couldn't wait to get it on her finger and I'll push it out for the next time. I was just, I loved the ring. So I didn't even say yes. And I went, oh my God, scream. Took the ring straight away on my yeah, finger. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> yeah, and that, that was about as remote, romantic uh, as it got. Do you know what? I loved, if I, honestly, if someone could have said, how would you like to be roasted? That was exactly how it was. I don't know if it'd be exactly like that. It was. I don't know. Yeah. That che- if you'd have done a big cheesy speech, that's not me and you. No, We're I not like that. Either. Will you marry me, darling? That is me and Everyone keeps on saying, I dropped the nail. I didn't drop the nail. Whether that's right or wrong, I didn't drop the nail. But you know what? It was hard. The boat was... Yeah, that's me. Shoot, the boat was all over the place. Uh, yeah, I, it all went out the window. <laughs> Look. So, yeah, she said, yeah, she's got a ring. She's happy. So excited. I still can't get over this. Can you actually get over this room? Oh, hi, fiance. <laughs> so we are on our way to drift. <laughs> How annoying am I? you are face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you think and I don't really care about the music I'm Can everyone appreciate how hot my fiance is right now? Am I embarrassing you? Oh. Please, please fall back in Go on I might do it in a bit, I've got a drink. I know. So basically, he's got a drink. With these um, sun lounges, you get have to have like a, oh, a bottle of something. And uh, obviously, I can't drink. So he's got to have a bottle of champagne or a big bottle of my favourite whispering angel to himself. See how long I can last here. So we are on our way to a really cute little Thai restaurant but on this really sweet little boat. What is it with you and boats now this trip? The boy's got, got a yacht out for the afternoon and now he wants a boat. How cute is it? It's our little driver. Hey, hey Captain. <laughs> <laughs> we are being typical Brits. We're flying in literally four hours. We got up early just to get a little bit of sun because we know it's raining and cold back in the UK. So. Uh, our last this is like our last hour of bliss peacefulness relaxation ever now in life because next time we're away our baby's going to be here so we enjoy this last hour yeah. so we're just leaving our hotel you sad I don't want to. It's going to be cold and rainy. I just want to stay out here. I could easily do another at least three days. Well, I'm a week. A week? Mm. Oh, I had the most amazing time of year. This has literally been my best holiday ever. Obviously, because I got engaged. I'm coming back a fiance. Fiance. You look so nice and tanned. So do you. I don't feel it. I actually feel a little bit sick. Mm, it's traveling. <sighs> Okay, so we're back. We're an engaged couple. Do you feel different now that we're engaged? Uh, I do. I feel like not you're, majorly, no. I feel like you're more committed to me. Like I weren't committed anyway. You've got a bun in the oven. Any, listen, anyone can get, an ass, anyone can get knocked up. Anyone I bought can, an ass with you. Yeah, you did. So, but no, I do you, feel... I'm getting, you do feel slightly different. Yeah, you do, you're engaged, but nothing's changed. Do, like, 
Does it feel nice, like, seeing your missus with, like, a ring on her finger? Yeah, he's nice. He's a nice feeling. And, yeah, that's, that's yeah, he is nice. And, like, I think it's different for a bloke, ain't it? It's, <laughs> I'm digging myself in a flipping big hole here. But no, I do feel different. There you go. <laughs> you do feel different. So, a lot of people have been saying, since we got back, when is the big day? Yeah, it's it's. it's not we've got to wait a while. I mean, it's been a busy nine months. We've managed to get moving after about two weeks. Managed to be pregnant after a month, and decided to try and renovate an house before the baby comes. So yeah, it's a bit bit busy. Taking things slow. Yeah, we're going to be sensible for once. Get the house finished. Get the bubber in. And then, yeah, give it a, a year or two, ain't it? So I feel like we should start planning next year. Yeah, we've got... There's a lot going on, I mean... Are you excited for the planning? I am excited, but I can't even think about it at the moment, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've got an house that's half finished. A baby is due in about six weeks, and there's a bit going on, ain't there? I know, and there's a virus going around which is making us yeah, stay in. Yeah, it's making things difficult, so... So, yeah, right now... It's all a bit cray cray, isn't it, babes? Yes, yeah, so I think 2022's. Yeah, I like the, that. 2022. 2022. Year, isn't it? 2022. Woo! Yeah, 2022 would be a good I'm going to be in Mrs. Edney. Mrs. Edney to be. Yeah. You've got to high five me like that way. Give me a chance to save me stag do as well, then. I hate stag do's. How many stag do's you going on? You're not one of these, are you going, I'm going to go Vegas and go our B friend, go Melba? Probably, yeah. A little skiing one as well, mix it up. Uh, skiing? Yeah, get back to the Alps. If you do have a stag do, can I be the stripper? Yeah, all right. Done. I'll take that. Do you reckon the boys will let me? Yeah, probably. The other one won't have a little look, won't they? 